Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will explain mandibular body osteotomy as described by Dingman. It is mainly used for setback within the body of the mandible as it has the advantage of within the dental arch. Therefore, it can close tooth gaps. A mandibular body osteotomy is an osteotomy with a segmental resection of a defined section of the mandibular body. The inferior alveolar nerve typically crosses the osteotomy sites and the bony piece which has to be resected. In order to avoid damage to that nerve, it is recommended to free and mobilize it from the inferior alveolar canal before the osteotomies and the resections are performed. This osteotomy can only be used to shorten the mandibular body. Do a proper planning of orthognathic surgery. In dented patients, some surgeon extract tooth or teeth in the segment which is going to be resected before performing osteotomies. A transoral surgical approach is routinely used the inferior alveolar nerve can be identified and mobilized after removing the lateral cortical bone overlying the nerve. This can be facilitated by the use of a piezoelectric cutting device. After the inferior alveolar nerve is identified and mobilized two parallel vertical osteotomy lines are marked with a pen or a drill on bone surface. The lingual mucoperiosteal layer is detached from the bone with a periosteal elevator. The osteotomy is then performed with either a saw drill or piezoelectric saw. While performing Osteotomy's care must be taken to protect the nerve, for instance, with a freer elevator as shown in this figure. After completion of both osteotomies, the segment of bone is removed. After bilateral resection, the interior segment of the mandible is moved posteriorly into the pre-planned position. Mandibulo maxillary fixation is performed to position the mandibular segment to the desired relationship with the maxilla. A prefabricated surgical splint or wafer may be used to facilitate this. Internal fixation is performed with two straight mini plates one above and one below the inferior alveolar nerve. The plate placement and drilling is usually performed from the transoral route. After completion of osteosynthesis on both sides, the MMF is released and the resulting occlusion is checked against the pre-planned position. The splint may be fixed to the maxillary teeth with a few thin wires and left in place during the healing phase to allow for neuromuscular adaption and position control. Thank you. Wish you best of luck.